Parts of the scientific method. Scientists try to figure out the answers to questions. They try to solve problems in a methodical, controlled manner. This is the process of science. When a scientist proposes a hypothesis, he or she wants to test it. This is the basis of the scientific method. It relies on simple cause and effect. A valid scientific test or experiment involves three parts. One part is the independent variable. An independent variable is exactly what it sounds like. It is a variable that stands alone and isn't changed by the other variables you are trying to measure. For example, a type of gasoline might be an independent variable. When you are looking for some kind of relationship between variables, you are trying to see if the independent variable causes some kind of change in the other variables or the dependent variables. In our case, the dependent variable is going to be fuel mileage. So this dependent variable depends on the type of gas we are using. To make sure our experiment is scientific and valid, we have another part, the controls or controlled variables. In our situation, some controls might include the temperature outside, the road we are driving on, the type of car we drive, and the speed we are driving, just to name a few. When we finish our experiment, we need to analyze our data. One way we do this is through graphing. When we graph an experiment, we always plot the independent variables on the x-axis and the dependent variable on the y-axis. This visual information helps scientists to draw conclusions from their data. Many people have trouble remembering which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. An easy way to remember is to insert the names of the two variables you are using in the sentence in the way they make sense. Then you can figure out which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. Independent variable causes a change in dependent variable and it isn't possible that the dependent variable could cause a change in an independent variable. In our example, the type of gas used causes a change in miles per gallon, and it isn't possible that miles per gallon could cause a change in the type of gas used. We see that the type of gas used must be the independent variable, and miles per gallon must be the dependent variable, because the sentence doesn't make sense the other way around. What we end up with is science.